welcome back to the rally. It's a big night for the Chicago Bulls tomorrow when they induct the inaugural members of the Ring of Honor. And one of the inductees is the 1995-96 team. And we're lucky to have Dickie Simpkins here, who is part of that special team. Dickie, welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to this. I mean, listen, if you take a look at the list of legends that are getting honored, so what are you looking forward to most about this ceremony? I think I'm looking forward to the camaraderie and the actual fact that the guys that I played with, we're all about to be back in the United Center together, not for a game, but at least back together and maybe pretend mentally that we're in the game. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's the biggest thing, just being back together under one roof. And I don't think that's happened in a long time. Does uh, it bring back a lot of memories? Like you mentioned having all the guys back together. Uh, I started seeing guys yesterday. It definitely brought back memories, seeing Randy, Bill Winnington, Ron Harper. We sat at the hotel and uh, talked about a lot of different stuff. and. Being at the arena last night, watching the game, seeing the Bulls win, but just that vibe again, it, it's been feeling good. Who would you say is uh, your, your closest friend from that team? Oh, man, closest friend. You know, for whatever reason, um, the vets, like, gravitated to me, mm -hmm. man. You know, Chief Robert Perez was my guy. Uh, growing up, I would see Chief play, and when he came on the team, I thought Chief was this mean dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, come to find out, he was a... A hell of a guy and we would sit up in the front of the plane and chief would just tell me about back in the day Buddha Edwards James Edwards is uh, a guy that uh, gravitated to me Randy of course Randy Brown we were kind of closer in timing so I don't know I got along with everybody you know I got along with everybody and in different parts hung out with everybody now this is a, a, a story and a team that has been written about. It's been well documented, and so we've we've heard a lot of uh, uh, the details there. But what is something that maybe hasn't been told that you want people to know about these teams? Uh, I think two things is one, when you look at the '95 '96 team and you look at winning and '72 and '10, I don't think people really realize that everybody on that team understood their role. Um, they embraced their role and they were a star in their role mm. and then that we couldn't have won if that wasn't the case Obviously we had the best player that ever played the game, but everybody has to understand their role and I think the second thing people don't realize is uh, Back then it was harder to get information out of the <laughs> inside of what we had going on So I remember when MJ came back he had been practicing with us for a while and uh, nobody knew we kept that under wraps. Obviously, with social media and everything right. now, it's hard to do that. It's but crazy with social media now. I think those are the two things that I don't think people really, really realize. Yeah, there'd be no chance today because everything's <laughs> on the internet. And so you had two stints with the Bulls, and you saw a bunch of players, some players that might even be deserving of getting in at some point. Who do you think should be maybe in the next iteration of the, of the honor? How, how do you th who do you think should get in next? I think, um, well, I would say... The 91 championship team that won the first of the six championships, I, I would say that they definitely would probably mm. be considered to be in because, I mean, they, they were able to get over the hump and win that first title. And then uh, when I think about individuals, I mean, one person that stands out is Derrick Rose. I mean, mm -hmm. Derrick Rose mm -hmm. was an MVP. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many, I don't think it's... What, MVP Chicago Bulls, Man. Michael Jordan, yeah. Derrick Rose, yeah. I, I would believe. And not for injuries, right? He, right. You never know what could have happened. Yeah. So I, I think just when you are an MVP for your franchise, that should automatically put you in uh, the ring of honor. And he's from Rome. Chicago. And like, he's from I mean, Chicago. Right? Man, send me it, and, and, and like you said, sense. before the injuries, I mean, he had this thing rolling here. Yeah, they yeah. were moving yeah. in, the, in the championship direction. So mm -hmm. I would say the 91 championship, they won the first one. And Derrick Rose, mm -hmm. for sure. I want to circle back to, you know, somebody you already mentioned in Michael Jordan, and you put him in the realm of just one of the arguably the best to play the game here. And so what is something that you admired about his game that really stood out to you? Uh, I think the biggest thing was um, the mental fortitude he had to embrace the moment to carry the team on his back mm. and deliver a play that was going to be an ion iconic play or a, a masterpiece of winning a game or winning a series. But just that mentality to be able to do that. I mean, everybody wants to have the last second shot or wants to be the star, but everybody doesn't really want what comes with it outside of all the accolades. You know, it's a lot to carry a team on your back, but to have that mental fortitude 
that's something that I've never seen any player have like MJ. Yeah. That's crazy to think about. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, you embrace that moment. In when it's good, age. it's good. Yeah. But when you miss that shot, it's not in, so In good. today's age, everybody yeah. does all the glitz and glamour things right. just for show. Right. But right. he did it. He needed to do it. And, and it was just a part of what he was doing. It wasn't a social media and all that. Yeah, he just delivered it. And, um, you know, MJ was... He played for respect and not to be liked. Mm. And I tell people all the time, you have to choose. Do you want to be respected or you want to be liked? If you want to be liked, that can go up and down. Mm -hmm. If you want to be respected, that's going to go a long way. I don't that's like you, JP. Those are wise I words. You. Hey, I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, so I got to ask you. Take the 96 team. Put them in today's NBA. How are they doing? I believe the 96 team is doing well. Um, I know today's age is a lot of three-point shooting, a mm -hmm. lot of uh, stretch bigs, picking and popping, uh, a lot of fast breaking. But when you think about that 95, 96 team, there was some three-point shooting. I mean, Pip could knock down some threes. Tony would shoot threes. Judge, Steve Kerr, MJ would shoot threes. Now, didn't shoot them at a high clip like right. now, right. but were capable. Mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, Luke Longley was a pick and, he had some pick and pop in the mid-range area for uh, knocking down shots as a big. Bill Winnington knocked down jump shots. But I think ultimately in this day and age, the Chicago Bulls 95, 96 teams defense mm. would be able to compete in any era because yeah. It was a defense that consisted of switching everywhere. You know, Phil believed in big guards, length, mm -hmm. athleticism, and height, and we could switch at every position. D. Rod could switch out on guards. So, I think that team would fare well in today's basketball. You were, you know, we've talked about some of the stars that we've seen on, you know, the team that you've played with, and I'm just curious your thoughts on today's game and who are some young stars that really stand out to you. Oh man, um, so I, I would say. The main star that stands out that I don't think is talked about much, but he's getting a lot of commercials, is uh, SGA for Oklahoma City. Yeah. We talked about him a lot. Yeah. Alexander. Super nice. And, you know, I, I, I have to um, disclose that I knew him before he even when he first got here from Canada, so I saw what he could be, mm. and he's displaying it every time he steps on the court. But if I was to be going to court, with today's guys, Shea would be the guy I'd pick to nice. be the That's point guard. And team. you said you knew him before he got to the pros. What was it about his game that really stood out to you that you were like, this guy's a star in the making? He had a subtle confidence about mm -hmm. his game mm -hmm. that mixed in with a little bit of competitiveness. So he already had the skill and the talent, but he had a subtle confidence that he was that dude and that he could make plays for himself and make plays with guys, but ultimately, he could carry a team, and I saw that when he was young. I mean, the, the guy competed, and he could play. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love it. I like yeah. him. He go. All right. Well, Dickie, we appreciate you taking appreciate the time it. and it. have so much fun. We see your family is over here. You yeah, guys look yeah. great. So have fun <laughs> at the ceremony. We appreciate Thank you, you coming on.